Okay, we are back here at Meade Stadium on the campus of the University of Rhode Island, and I'm now joined by wide receiver Marcus Buchanan. First things first, good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Pride of Rhode Island, you're a Rhode Island guy, stayed home, and you first started the scene, had a great career here at URI so far. I'm going to talk about all that here in a sec, but first things first, just some thoughts on today. It was a cold wet one. These practices are tough, but they're kind of necessary. Yeah, we know we need a good scrimmage to lock in for the people off end. You know, you're ready to hit when it comes to the season. You know, a little sloppy today, but, you know, we still got to finish. Well, the weather will do that to you, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. conditions are rough. Yeah, we ran the ball well. Our season's going to be physical blocking today. We still got to finish some stuff, play some things up, but we can't wait the weather. But, you know, and I asked AJ this question, Marquise, how important is it, though, to have these practices? Because this is the kind of weather you're going to see at the end of October, early November. How important is it to get your body conditioned to these elements? It's very important, especially when, you know, we want to make the playoffs and, you know, traveling on the states making it colder than it is in his years. We got to be ready for anything, rain, sleet, snow. We got to be prepared at all times. You guys have been going down for about three weeks. How's spring ball gone for you so far? And what have you seen from the offense? Obviously, you got to replace a lot of familiar names that have been a big part of this program the last three years. What have you seen so far from the offense, and how's your spring going so far? Uh, I see big Tedra as long as we got a lot of one play guys, you know, a lot of speed inside and outside. Both QBs playing very well, so, you know, we just gotta, we gotta keep meshing together. And me, you know, I'm just out here trying to lead them the best I can because I'm one of the key returners coming back from last year's team, so. That's what I was gonna ask you. How important is it for you now to step up and take on that leadership role? You're gonna be a guy now that's gonna be looked at not only as a primary playmaker, but as a guy that is going to have to lead a room, but also be a leader on the offense. It's important because we got a lot of new guys coming in, so I got to you know, make sure they get their plays ready to do, execute the way I do, and continue to lead them and lead the rest of the offense. It's all to come together, so I better continue to score points. You know, obviously, you know, when you look at the last couple of years, you guys have been in the thick of it all the way through the end of the season. What do you think you need to do the rest of this spring to build on what you've done the last couple of years so that you can go into the fall camp in this season with more uh, We just need to, you know, keep gelling together and get these connections going. Some of the deep balls are still missing, but, you know, that's going to come over time. Defense got to just, you know, keep playing the way they play, and we just got to score on offense. We got to score every drive possible. You know, we can't rely on anybody else but us. And final question here for you, Marquise. What are you looking forward to in the last couple weeks here? Spring game, of course, is on April 13th. What are you looking forward to as we wrap up spring ball here? What are you looking to accomplish? Uh, just keep getting chemistry with both quarterbacks and continue to grind, keep getting better each day, and continue to lead the offense. 